Yes, guys! And yes, we are in Barcelona. And today's video, we're going to the new camp. Yes. You got your shirt on? It's got his shirt on. We went to Madrid, amazing. If you haven't watched that video, make sure you catch up because we literally just posted it. But Liddy's in the shower, we're nearly ready. We're gonna jump in a taxi and we're gonna head to one of the biggest stadiums in the world. I think the capacity is like 90. Or something. 98, 100, is it clo it's close to 100,000. Guys, while you are there, make sure you subscribe, like, and turn on your notification bell. Top comment is on the screen. What's the noise it's for? <laughs> Guys, enjoy the video. This stadium tour is meant to be very good. Yeah. And I went and booked a VIP tour. So it's not, not like a, no well, I don't know what it's like, but there were different tiers. It was like normal tour, museum tour, VIP tour. And I thought if we're gonna do it once, we're gonna do it properly. So we're off to VIPs. Yeah. Very important people. Anyway, guys, enjoy the video. Yeah, watch it until the very end. Peace. Peace. Impressions like this stadium feels huge. There's a lot going on, even though the stadium's clearly closed, it just feels like we're in a whole different town or city. Main entrance on a game day, I bet that's rammed. And then we got Johan Cruyff statue. Wow, it's incredible. 19, 1899 to 1999. He does look muscly to be fair, he looks massive. <laughs> I don't know who that is though. Kubala. I don't know, but yeah, his calves. Call him Jack Greenish. Yeah, <laughs> they call it now the Spotify Camp Noon. It's a big sponsorship right there. This is not an ad with Spotify, but if it was Spotify, like just you can just drop us a message or send us an email. But yeah, Spotify are their sponsor. So Ralph, you said this, didn't you? They actually changed the name to Spotify Camp Noon. It wasn't Camp Noon, but no, it's Spotify. But I think if you ask someone, oh, where the Barcelona play, they wouldn't just say Spotify Camp Noon. They no, would they just say Camp, Camp Noon. Yeah. I think. I um, heard they pay them up to a billion a, a year. A billion. To have their have their name and the That's name. crazy. We will pay them 100 quid to put the free halls camp stay to camp new. <laughs> Could you but imagine? That's a, that, that's a lot of money. So this is the Barca store. It looks huge in there, don't it? Guys, this place is huge. And it's like its own mini city. So it's very hard to get lost. And then they've even got their own bar here. Oh, players experience here because the queue goes all the way down there. That is mission. But we've got this one, players experience tour. Waiting to go in, yeah? Yeah. It's busy. Feels like there's a lot going on here. What are you looking forward to seeing the, the most? The museum. Because I heard they have a, like, two of Messi's Ballon d'Ors. I heard they've got there. all of Messi's Ballon d'Ors. But we'll see when we go in. But either way, there's going to be one Ballon d'Or, so you get to see one of them. Right, we're going in in two minutes. Oh, look at this. What is this players oh, tour? This is what, yes. You get yourself a little yan is it a yanlot? Lanyard. Yanlard. Ralph's looking through the window at the store. You do know though you've already got a bar shirt. I don't want a shirt, I want shorts. Oh, oh. It's a man. <laughs> no, no. Oh dear. I love how you try it. Like we're not in the store yet, so we're gonna see how nice you are to your sister around this tour. Oh really? Damn me up. <laughs> wow. So we're walking through. We have got a tour guide who's at the front, but he did say to us, you can't film in the dressing room. In the bar. In the home place. one. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Keep it secret. Secret? Yeah. It's all over social media. Yeah. It's like when you go on FC Barca Instagram, you see the dressing room on there. So now they're taking us out to the stadium. Okay. Wow. Oh, wow. The stadium. Oh. It was originally built in the year 1957. What do you think? The like impressions from up here, out of 10. It's big, it's big. It's very big, isn't it? I know, it's very open, like in like here. And because there's no roof over there, it feels very kind of like theatery. The pitch is actually huge. But look, there's not much runoff. Remember at PSG, Ralph, behind each goal, there was like huge sections of just nothing. Here it's like really built up. This is like clearly the premium kind of seats. TV, they had TVs at PSG. Nice padded seat, but then you look literally over this bar and you get full on plastic and concrete. And, like, <laughs> and these seats, have, this has that like marble floor. But when you're in these seats that you're dead on the halfway line, that 
from up here looks a little bit crooked. I think it's that guy's fault down there. But it does, on like first impression, feel much older. A lot more history here. Very concrete. I don't know how you're seeing it on camera, but it doesn't look green green. It looks like a, I can't even explain it, like a very off green. Doesn't feel very bright. And like even when you look at the big screen up there, it feels very dated. Like this has a lot of history, this stadium. But when you're in here, and you look like that, it's got a different feel. It doesn't feel like a stadium. It feels very like theatrical, if that makes sense. I can guarantee when you're on that pitch or scoring a goal, it feels amazing when this is sold out. And then when you think about it, this holds 99, well, just over 99,000 people. So yeah, you can imagine when this is sold out. I've never been to a game here, but I bet you it is immense atmosphere. Think about this, right? On Instagram, you've got how many followers? 111,000. 111, yeah. So you've got more followers than this, this whole, whole stadium. Game. Give her a follow. I'll put her Instagram on the screen. <laughs> You are halfway there, buddy. You're getting there. You've got the capacity of Wrexham, Ralph. Or um, no, you've got the capacity of uh, 50,000, yeah. I think we've got to go through here. So I don't know where we're going, but it's creepy here. It feels very like old fashioned here. So we've come into a little small section, which is their Barcelona basketball team. And that we're in this little section here and he's just giving us like a tour and talking about the history of basketball at Barcelona. So this is also like a VIP area where you meet players when and kids are allowed in this section. Yeah. But just think you're standing right here where Messi probably was, meeting someone. That wasn't me. <laughs> so what he said is this is the way the players walk into VIP. So in here, this is the VIP players car park. There's obviously no cars there now, but this is where all like the players will park their Lamborghinis and their Ferraris, etc. So again, little players bar where only the players and VIPs can come. Very nice in here, to be fair. I presume that's where you get food. I can't read that, but media area and dressing room. It's very, it feels very um, ancient. Yeah, it feels very old. I don't know why. But this is like the effect of old. This isn't old, but it gives you that effect. Alf, this is like your favorite area. Every single time. And yours. What? Accent time. Sponsored by Spotify, yeah? <laughs> yeah, they are sponsored by Spotify. You love a bit of Spotify. What have you got to say? Say, say, from uh, scoring your hat trick. Good, good game by the boys, but we, we Where's did that. Where's Oh, good game by the boys. We almost won. We were one goal over them. Think how many times Messi is still here getting interviewed. Ne Neymar. And Neymar. Me Suarez. Lewandowski. To stay good. Alonso. Christensen. And everyone. Everyone. All stood here and across this massive wall. And then this one, Ralph, is where you get like, oh, Lily, there we go. Can you present Ralph with man of the match, please? Yeah. Can I get some? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so man of the match will get a trophy here and normally they make, like, a teammate give them the trophy. So in here is the press interviewer room. Now these are comfy. They're always nice, isn't they? Every time we go in, I like, think PSG's was the best zone. PSG's yeah, was yeah. like a cinema, yeah, literally. But if you notice, every press room is comfy yeah. and like it's nice. Actually, Chelsea's isn't. Chelsea's I is literally. Plastic, yeah, but like PSG and here are like. And Roma. Oh yeah, 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 and Roma. They, they're just always nice, so they treat the press nicely. I suppose you've got to treat the press nice to not get bad comments. Yeah. So hang on, I just said to you, imagine if you were Messi going around this tour or Messi's life where everyone's interviewing, taking pictures and you reckon you'll like it? Yeah. <laughs> As a footballer, I'd be so fun. Think of it. Fun or annoying? Fun. Every day of your life? First of all, you drink green juice and then you get like... Yeah, I suppose you're getting experience. a million pound a, a week. A million pound a week. Okay, that's pretty cool, but like, you can imagine me and a footballer. A job. It would be busy. And being, paid being a footballer, I take my hat off. It must be quite a hectic life. Yeah, but it'd be fun. <laughs> okay. You get to play football as your job. Yeah. Oh, he kissed the flag. <laughs> he did. Oh my! You look so small up there. Can you imagine grilling him? Ralph, right, this is the away changing room, right? And it feels like nothing in here. I feel like I'm in a gym. So what he said is, they make it very depressing yeah. in here. So the other teams feel very depressed being in here, which is a little bit out of order. But it's so true because 
it's very boring in here and I get it yeah you don't want the away team to feel good do you so you want to make it as bland as possible and let me tell you it's literally like being in a gym oh this is the physio room ice bath and hot tub is that a hot tub or is that a cold pool let me tell you though guys Barcelona tour has got to be the busiest tour I've ever done it is absolutely heaving so buddy we've got to turn the camera off we're not allowed to film the home dressing room I've got to turn it off. See you soon. We're out. Wow. So we weren't actually allowed to film in the dressing room. Why do you think that is? Personal. How amazing was it in there? Yeah, it's, it's like a museum in there. Literally. Oh, got a little treat. They gave us that free scarf. How crazy was it in there? It was good. Swimming pool, yeah, jacuzzi, everything. museum, physio, changing rooms. In 2009, Champions League. Messi scored the second goal, posting in, and PK cut the, goal the net. net out the goal of it, net. and he's and they've got that net free. Yeah. I, I was so desperate to take a picture. <laughs> so yeah, guys, basically they wouldn't let us film inside because it's like really personal. And when I tell you inside this dressing room is insane. It has a Ronaldinho vest from his last game at Barcelona. They've got memorabilia in there that probably isn't even going to go near the museum. They've got Cruyff's locker. It's just incredible and I get it. We could have slyly filmed, but I didn't want to. It is their personal space and it is a, it's like its own museum when you're inside there. Messi washed his hands here and there's, there's, there's a piece of gold net like Ralph was saying that they cut out from when they won the Champions League and they cut it out with Messi's signature on. It's literally, if you get to go in there, I think you only get to go in the change room when you're on like a, a VIP tour. But if you get to go in there, I'm telling you now, you feel special just walking in that changing room. It's, it's totally incredible. Now we're walking out. This is exactly, the tour that we've done is everywhere the players get to go. So their change room is there. And I'm telling you, it's the whole length of that. Swimming pools, jacuzzis, hot tubs, physios, a gym, physio, oh, it's crazy. And then the players walk down. And now this is the players walk before they go to the ground. So we've got like Paris 2006, Wembley 1992, Roma 2009. Wembley 2011, Berlin 2015. So this is the tunnel walk, which is tunnel stairs. So this is a first. I've never seen tunnel stairs. Stairs? Not yeah. stairs, no, it's normally just a walk. Oh my goodness. Can you get, to go here, no one get to go down the stairs. Up. It's hot. Oh, the sun's come out. This is it. Well, Messi's saying one of them. <laughs> Which one is it though? So literally one of these has been sat on by Messi and Ronaldinho. I can imagine it's like managers at the front and staff and then players at the back. But it looks quite tight if I'm honest. So like look at that. What? That must move forward. You can't get their legs in there. There's no space at all. Can you imagine just being under here with all that above you just going crazy? So this is like technical box which it goes out quite far and that's your view. Wow, it's incredible. It is actually huge. And Lily just said that a minute ago, what is that in the sky? And I think it's like a cable um, for like the cameras to work on and stuff. But it looks like a drone just flying in the air. Oh, look how close you are to the pitch. Do not touch it. Go a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> he told you you're not allowed to touch the grass. Yeah, but that's a tiny bit. <laughs> but yeah, this is actually massive. On TV it doesn't look that big, but now I'm standing on it. It's actually huge and then that's the view. Oh my goodness. How big is it? It's giant. It actually feels... I could, I could do a run around. No, do not run around. You can't run on the pitch. Then next to the home bench, you've got like these seats, which I don't know what they are. What are you doing? What, you allowed a bit of grass? This, the trim. Put it in the bag, put it in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's enough. <laughs> they always nix a piece of grass from every stadium, but you've never kept it. That's I the... don't know, yeah, I don't know what my PSG was. <laughs> I think it's still in the pockets of my PSG dress. It could be. Ralph's warming up. You drop your scarf. <laughs> They're all shouting you. <laughs> They're all going mad out there. Okay, so now I'm starting to see the VIP tour is actually quite decent because you actually get to go everywhere around this stadium. Yeah. Oh, 
celebrating, yeah? Oh, I've got some real grass. I've got I'm some real grass. Bitch, run out, do <laughs> this is another tunnel. I don't know what tunnel this is. This is must be just for like, um, like all the groundsmen and stuff go through there. So that's the corner flag. And if you look, I don't know if you can tell from here, but the pitch actually curves from front to back. So you can't actually see the corner the other side. <laughs> They're singing. I don't know the song. I presume some of you might. So up there is the sign, but I imagine this is where the ultras sit behind the goal. Ultras always sit behind the goal, right? Yes, they can strike the other keeper. Yeah, so this must be ultras. Somehow this kid is over here. What are you up to? Touching the net. I'm gonna send the 360 camera up in the air and see what it looks like when I do like a panoramic of the whole stadium. That's the goal mouth, right there. To be fair, at first I thought this VIP was not worth it, but now but it all is. them people it just is. stand yeah, there yeah. while we are on the pitch. That's like, very true. Getting, giving gifts, going in the bar, so like usually in every stadium, so you're allowed to go in the changing room. Uh, change room. Here, not, not here. No. And we got to so sit. Don't know about this seat though. If you had this seat, you ain't really got a great view. I mean, you can see the game, but so this is like the gates turnstiles come through and this ground actually is dug down and not on the same level so the same level you're on like already like on the second tier so this is kind of what they have to do at Stamford Bridge because some stadiums can't go too high but they have to dig down and that's why it's like that and I noticed there isn't actually no turnstiles like I presume like when you come in you just scan or something because there isn't no like barriers that's the main gate this is where the fans can eat What's on the menu here? I mean, I can't say half of these things, but there's quite a lot to eat. Chocolate and crisp for one euro. That is quite good, actually. Chocolate and crisp for one euro. And I noticed as well, a lot of European stadiums sell popcorn. You, you don't get popcorn, in, I mean, you do get popcorn in England. I think Chelsea sell popcorn, actually. But I've never had it at a football no, match. No, it's not. It's more like a cinema thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a view from second tier, which yeah. is nice. Quite high, but not really high. I don't know if I want to go right up to the top. So the tour guide's gone now, yeah? So now we can do whatever we want. So before we walk around the whole museum, this is the Johan Croy part of the museum and it's just a small section just for Johan Cruyff. It has one of his shirts, a ball that he played with. What's that there? The Ballon... Yeah, Ballon... The Ballon d'Or. What? Look how small that one is. That's 19... I think that's one of the first 1974, yeah. There's Cruyff's identification card. Don't know if you can read that. That's insane that they've kept that. So this is Cruyff's raincoat. Johan Cruyff's boots. Look at them. They were called Cruyff. Oh. They're crazy, yeah, they are. I bet they're worth some money. There's his book, FIFA medal. Ah, oh, this, this is a lot of history in just this part. Right, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to get through every single trophy, because there's a lot in here. But we'll start from 1902, which is here, the Copa Barcelona. So many cups to go through. The Copa del Rey, the Spanish Cup, this was 1919. Old school shirts, look at that. But these trophies just go on and on. This is like the historic trophies. Then getting right to the end, look, there's a whole wall of this trophy. I mean, Barcelona's won a lot, to be fair. Ronaldinho, literally the master. And I think you can click on who you want to see next. Messi's right there, Pep with hair. Then they have another wall of trophies. And then again, it's just incredible the amount of trophies that they've got here 1992 the liga oh my goodness that that's like half the size of me you wouldn't be able to lift that fifa club world cup trophy it's actually a stunning trophy to be fair ralph just pointed out we have that chelsea does have that got like three of them <laughs> i love how i'm not listen i'm a chelsea fan i'm not i'm a chelsea fan all right but I'm just trying to take in the amount that Barcelona's won while we're in here. So don't get defensive, don't think I'm not supporting Chelsea, because I do. Then in the middle of the museum, they have all these like tables. Iniesta, Messi, PK. But Iniesta was just, he was a special player. There is a Ballon d'Or trophy. Come down here and look at that. That is unbelievable. 2022. What is that? Is That's not a Ballon d'Or. That's a winner of Ballon d'Or. Oh, it's the women's, the women's. Okay, so women's, Barcelona over this side. They've won a lot. 
Their trophies are amazing though, look. There, Champions League. Again, the size of these trophies are huge. So this is a 1994 Ballon d'Or, and it's not changed much, other than the design on the football. Look at that, a football from 1970. I mean, it wouldn't look like that. That's not pumped up properly. And then another ball there from 1973. But yeah, some of this stuff, it's so old, it's falling apart. Look, that's almost falling apart. Their museum is actually a museum. I'll give it to them. Yeah. This is like a proper museum. And then we come to this. This is a trophy every club wants. This is the back of them. Oh, we're going to switch and go to the front. I don't know why we're at the back. They've also got a section which they look very successful in basketball, but I don't really know a lot about basketball, so I'm not going to really talk too much about it. But their trophy cabinet looks pretty insane. So actually, it's not just basketball. They do ice hockey as well, rollerblading. That's an Olympic medal there. Yeah. The European League. Oh, yeah. But look, all their kits are the same colours in every sport they do. Which is mad when you think about it. They do all these different sports. So you don't get Chelsea ice hockey. So look at the handball trophies. Oh my God, that's incredible, that trophy. I don't even think we've seen handball other than I, the Olympics. I've played it before. Yeah, you can play it in schools and yeah, stuff, but we don't fun. have a sport. I actually like it. Champions League, 14, 15. I'm going to breeze through these. 10, 10 to 11. Plus one of the footballs, that is when you was born. Um, so that makes it how old? 23 years old. Oh no! <laughs> 13. 12. 12. 12. Soon 13. Soon 13. 12 and a half years. So this is where we've been waiting to see, right? So, Messi Ballon d'Or 1, Messi Ballon d'Or 2, Messi Ballon d'Or 3, Messi Ballon d'Or 4, 5, and 6. I like how you see like. That is. Ridiculous. I know, there's the main man, but still, look, what an achievement. Seven Ballon d'Ors. Is he gonna win this year? No. He's definitely not. I think that's it, innit? Seven. Hey, so you have to use this to get out? Oh, and then you exit the tour this way through like this mad tunnel of pictures. This place is actually huge, right? Massive. What are you rating that tour? Ten. Okay, what are you rating the dressing room? 10 Even million. though we can't show it? 10 million. See, I would have given it a 10. Yeah. I'm giving it a 9.75 just Post because I can't show everyone else. So good. It was good, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's impossible to take the ball away from Pedri, but you can buy it. <laughs> the way they say that, so when you come Lewandowski's into the shop. Wanted, you can't buy Lewandowski's talent, but you can buy his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite clever. And then of course, every stadium tour you finish, you finish in the place where they want you to spend all your money. <laughs> do you do that, Lily? Look, balls up there, overhead kick. Do you do that? Yeah, probably. Yeah? All right, so when we get home in England, I want to see you do an overhead kick. Right, listen, you've already got a shirt, but we can take back a souvenir. So we need to get a souvenir, yeah? Oh, look, there's a down... Wow, this is a shop and a half. So you've got up here and then it goes down. There's actually two more levels. I don't think I've seen a mega store as big as this. So this is on the second floor, but then you've got like this amphitheater kind of thing that then you can go down again. This is huge. If you were on the last video to the Roman one and then look at the shop there. Then... Oh my goodness, yeah. What about Roma store compared to this? Roma store you could fit in like the corner of this store. Yeah. That was tiny, weren't it? It's crazy that like, this is in the center of a store. When a mega store sells football boots, that's when you know it's big. What are you looking at? The shorts? Yeah, I wanted shorts to match my kit because But I you like... don't have shorts for every kit you own. No, but I like having shorts for socks so I can actually like go out and wear a kit. Like only with like, not socks. You want the socks as well, don't no, you? I you don't want, want to be a full kit kind of... You want to be a full kit kind of person. No, full kit. Oh, long <laughs> socks when you wear them no, out with your you mates. Can't. You can't, there's no way you can do that. Look at these, old school. They're replicas though, look how light that is. And then a special Messi shirt. I don't even think you could probably buy that. Personally signed by Messi, 672 games for Barcelona. I'm not too keen on the yellow. It's so bright, but I do like the gray. I, I'm quite a fan of the gray. Well, we come out and it's like this. Sunshine, Ralph. All I'm seeing is up in the bar, so I'm a Barca fan now. Mate, whoa, whoa, slow yourself <laughs> down. You are not a Barca fan. It's way better he did get some shorts. Barca shorts to match his shirt because we only got this recently. This is the new it's Barcelona shirt. Yeah, I got you for your birthday. They've kept the same shirt since July. Most teams switch around that, sort but the tour's of not over. Yeah, 
because we're doing the robo challenge. I'm so excited. So we've got I've to got find it. it. Got we'll find it, it and then we'll see if you or Lily can score a top Lily, bin. Lily could definitely do You reckon it. you get a top if bin? It's on it, she can All right, let's see if you can get a top bin then, yeah? I'm, I'm putting with my money on Lily. Lily. Yeah, with Air Force on, I'm yeah. putting my money on her. All right, go. So here is the legendary robo keeper. You might have seen Messi do it, loads of other players, Ronaldinho's done it, and you've got to basically try and beat the robot goalkeeper. But I did a queue about an hour. I know, but I really want to do this. So you guys go get food. I will go get us some, some food, food. And some drinks, and then we'll come back. But you stay in the line, yeah? One eternity later. Oh no, buddy, I'm sorry. Sorry to hear it. I was so excited for this. You was, and they've gone and closed it, and they've put like these barriers around, so can't even go on it. Never mind. No, maybe not we'll never come. Mind. <laughs> maybe we'll come back to bars certainly another time and go on it. But it must be broke. But, it must be three. broke. Good vlog. Yeah. Out of ten, stadium. Ten million. What are you saying? So as you join the stadium tour crew. 9.5? 9.5. Yeah, that's true. See, I always will go under 10 because I don't think we'll find a 10. Chelsea I think the 10. 10 stadium will be Bayern Munich. Apparently, it's the best stadium. Well, oh, but so, even though so what you're saying, say we have to go buy a Munich. Even though I hate to say it, I think we should do Tottenham. To Tottenham? They got such yes, a I know, sick I know, stadium. But Chelsea fans going to Tottenham can't be a good idea. Anyway, no, Tottenham fan came what you got to do? Like, subscribe and turn your notification bell. And if you and want another stadium tour. If you want another stadium tour. What right? stadium? Put the stadium in the comments Put below. Stadium.